Hey gents, this is a heavily requested video. Today we're going to talk about my new shoes from Carmina. This is not a typical unboxing for the channel because I actually went to the New York City store, but I'll talk about Carmina in general, talk about my experience getting them, show you some beauty shots of the shoes and my impressions on the brand. And I do want to start off by saying that you guys sometimes say that I'm a bad influence, but I wouldn't even have gone into the Carmina store if it weren't for you guys. But that's what I love about this channel. It's a back and forth between us. So thank you to everybody for liking, subscribing. I had 50,000 subscribers uh, not too long ago. I couldn't be more thankful that you guys care about what I have to say. So sincerely, thank you. Now let's talk about Carmina. There's a lot of interest in this brand. There seems to be kind of a cult following of them. There's a lot of good stuff on forums about them. So I'll try to bring together everything that I've learned over time. And Carmina was started in 1997. So it's a pretty new brand. It started by Jose Albaladejo and his wife Carmina in Mallorca, Spain. They started to make the finest handcrafted shoes in the world, and they started with a line of Goodyear welted men's shoes. In 1999, they came out with their women's Goodyear welted shoes. It's also out there on the web a lot that uh, the Carmina and Mallorca companies are related. Well, they were started by the same family members, but they don't have any business ties to each other. And then every few years, they've been opening stores internationally, and they came to New York City in 2017. It's right near Grand Central Station, and when you go in, it like defines the luxury experience of being within one of these stores, and you can tell that this is a luxury product. They have a really cool window display where they show how the shoes you know, break apart, and they show the cutoff of the shoes. And they have all the shoes lining the store with a stock room in the back, so it's very clean experience, beautiful furniture in there, and then one simple like cashier bar in the back. And then they also offer you champagne and water, just like when you go to like a fine watch boutique. And the way that I was treated by the guy running the shop at the time, I could tell he was sizing me up, like, is this guy actually gonna buy $500 pair of shoes, uh, but then once he realized that I was serious, uh, I got the full treatment. I did see that um, Christian from Theona Harris, him and he and his dad did not have a good experience uh, over there, but mine, it was definitely uh, abrasive at first. They warmed up to me, but then I was able to try on four or five different pairs of shoes. I wasn't sure what I was looking for. I wanted to test out the feel of each of their lasts. The shoe that I have here, uh, I ended up with this is the Forest, but they have three different lasts and, and try out the sizing. I tried some loafers on, you guys voted on those on Instagram, but I all ended up in the Cordovan section because I don't have anything Cordovan in my current collection. And I was really curious because if you're gonna go with a fine material like that, you want somebody that knows what they're doing, which Carmina obviously does. And when I bought them, they shined the shoes for me right there. So it looked pretty good before I bought them, but then one of the store associates went ahead and like polished and shined them and they looked absolutely gorgeous just coming out of the store. They have some absolutely beautiful shoes. They have fine leather weaves, they have their standard leather, they have cordovan, they have exotic materials, and you can tell just by looking at these things in person, they are absolutely some of the finest shoes I've ever laid eyes on. I have gone and shopped Alden and Crockett and Jones, and these are right in that space, which you're looking at shoes that start at $450 for standard leather, and then their Cordovan collection starts at $750, and they have boots that go up into the $950, and then the exotic. They also have a made-to-order program, and they will make it to more of your specifications. They'll still use their lasts, so if you're extra wide, I do not believe that they can accommodate that, but if it's a sizing issue or uh, something around the foot that they can modify in the manufacturing process, they do made-to-order, and then they ship directly to you. So I tried on a few different shoes, and then once I got into the Cordovan section, I couldn't get my eye off of these. These are the Forest Cordovan Berdejos, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I have nothing like this in my collection, and uh, I mean, especially being at this level of quality, but also the Cordovan, also the color. I mean, this is a very unique shoe to anything else that I have. You can see the JR sole here, and um, really, really incredible. The, for sizing, I see a lot of information on sizing on the web. I ended up in a 10 and a half here. This shoe fits me better than any shoe in my entire collection at a 10 and a half. That being said, my Allen Edmonds are a size 12. Most of the shoes that you see me wear uh, on the channel are usually a European size 45 or a 12, and I had to go down pretty significantly in this, which coincidentally is also what I had to do in Meerman. So you can see just in the detailing of the shoe, absolutely beautiful, a slight broguing on the cap toe, closed vamp up at the top, gorgeous leather sole. I've talked about how pretty some of the leather soles are that come from these companies, but this one is truly next level. Closed channel lacing on the Goodyear welt. They're heavier like you'd expect in a Goodyear welted shoe, uh, kind of like my Thursday boot shoes, 
but you'd also expect that with the Shell Cordovan. I'll also link to an excellent guide on the Gentleman's Gazette where he talks about Shell Cordovan, what it is, why it's important, um, and why these shoes are gonna end up lasting me for a very long time, and why they were worth spending $750 with including New York tax. So far, I've worn these shoes three times, so they're very lightly worn so far. You can see that in, in the sole here. But these are a pair of shoes that I expect to wear forever. I don't know that I'll ever even need to resole them because I'll treat them so delicately in the way that I use them. So like all of Carmina's shoes, Goodyear Welted, made in Spain. This is an absolutely beautiful shell cordovan. It is slightly matte. I've, I've seen Alden shoes where they kind of look plasticky. That's based on their, they use like an acrylic finish that gives it that uh, shell. But this absolutely stands out. And each time I wear these, I get tons of compliments on them. Uh, the first day I wore them, I actually bought them in this suit, wore them to Articles of Style, uh, and they just stand out as a gorgeous shoe. And people can usually tell, people in the know can tell that they're Shell Cordovan, um, and it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, most of my other videos, I say that I like put these to their paces and see how they wear over time, but this is a shoe that I will truly delicately wear uh, and keep for a very long time. You know, you just saw the Kirby Allison shoe care kit I unboxed, it's part of like, keeping a shoe like this to be very nice. And so um, I don't know how much reporting I can do on how they wear over time because I'm going to be keeping these things um, like a newborn baby as much as I can. As far as comfort goes, they definitely are extremely stiff. Uh, the soles are quite stiff and the shell cord of in itself uh, needs to kind of relax a little bit and form to my foot. That being said, it's a pretty comfortable footbed. I did end up walking a lot with these the very first time I wore them and it wasn't too bad. And so the break-in period on these is probably gonna be similar to what people talk about with Meerman. The Meerman shoes so far have been pretty good. Uh, not, a, not a lot of major complaints there, uh, but this is a very different beast of a shoe because I could buy, what, four pairs of Meerman for one pair of these. <sighs> but it's beautiful, look at it. So. Uh, so those are my Shell Cordovan Carmina shoes. I think if you're going to order online, uh, definitely follow the size guide as best that you can. If you can go to their store, just go in and experience it. Uh, talk to the guys in the shop. It's a beautiful place. I really hope that there aren't similar customer service issues like I had with my Meerman shoes. Uh, because they do have a New York based store, it shouldn't be any problem with returns and exchanges. And so um, I'd love to hear from you guys do you want to know more about this shoe? Do you want a follow-up video? Any questions down in the comments? Thank you for recommending them and asking me for them. I know you guys ask for like Crockett and Jones and Alden and some of these higher tier shoemakers, but this is definitely a whole new level for the channel. And if you like more stuff like this, I'll keep going into the space. I've, I think I've covered the like, you know, two to $400 section pretty well. Um, and now this is a whole new level of shoe but I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for subscribing, supporting, everything as always. If you wanna check out Carmina, I'll put a link below so you can. And until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.